incidences in Syria, if you like, of what really is going on in Syria. Yes, because they have basically done the same thing George Bush did, George W. Bush, when he said there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, but they offered no evidence. They nope. just said, trust us, our intelligence, American Bingo. intelligence has discovered and given us evidence. You can't see it, but we have it. And Obama's done the same thing. We have evidence. You can't see it. We're not going to tell you. It's but class. Trust us. Yeah, trust us. It's cl Why does everything have to be classified and the public can't know anything about it? Just trust us. Well, America said we don't trust you anymore about this. That's correct, because the government does not ever waste any good opportunity of anything that goes on. If something goes on in the Middle East, this is an opportunity for a different agenda. It's not the agenda of combating terrorism. Right. If we're indeed combating terrorism, my friend, then why would we support Mohammed Mursi and the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, which allowed 2,000 terrorist Al-Qaeda operatives into Egypt? And all the 2,000 were high-level high, high you know, level terrorists, you know, uh, all sentenced under the death penalty by the previous government in Egypt. Now they're allowed into Egypt. And then when, we, when the Egyptian people wake up and finally arise and do what people should do, right. oust that evil regime in Egypt, what does the United States of America do? Do they support the people? They could do also, it. it is by the people for the people. Okay, by the people for the people. Egypt is by the people for the people too. Finally, they did what Americans are supposed to do, and we condemn them. And we put them down, and we threatened to take the military aid from Assisi, and all these things. When the government began to become to act right, we condemned it. When it was acting wrong, we looked the other way, and we aided and abetted it. Why? Is it because we have a war on terror? Or is it because we want to plant Islamist entities all over the Middle East, in Libya, in Tunisia, Zain al-Abidin of Tunisia? How many Americans heard of the name Zain al-Abidin? <laughs> what the heck did he do wrong? He, uh, he's a tyrant, he's a villain, he's a dictator. S Tunisia? Zain al Abidin was ousted because he's a dictator and a tyrant? What did he do wrong? What did Hosni Mubarak do wrong in Egypt? Yeah. He imprisoned Muslim Brotherhood operatives. What did uh, Bashar al-Assad do? He imprisoned Muslim Brotherhood operatives. He killed Muslim Brotherhood operatives because that's the way you run things in those part of the world. If you don't kill the, a terrorist, they will kill you. Okay? So so what did Bashar al-Assad do? He used chemical weapons? Well, the American administration made that claim when Khan al-Assal, Khan al-Assal is a case in point a few months ago where the administration wanted to attack Syria before because they claimed the Syrian government used chemical weapons in Khan al-Assal. Well, it turned out to be that the operation in Khan al-Assal was used by the terrorists, by the three Syrian army. Proven fact, with testimonies from physicians galore from victims galore in Khan al-Assal saying it was the Free Syrian Army that used the chemical weapons. Then we come to this latest, latest event. We have videotapes showing clearly in two areas, Jover and Banyas in Syria, in which the government captured caches of chemical weapons and warehouses in which they were, you know, putting these chemical weapons in rocket launchers, grenade launchers, you name it, and using it against their own people. So we have also a Nusra, leaders of a Nusra coming on video, on video, clear evidence, yeah. saying if we will lose the battle against the Syrian government, against the Syrian military, we will use chemical weapons. Then we have videos launching sarin gas by the Free Syrian Army in which the recording uh, that was intercepted by the government showing we are launching a sarin gas attack. Then we have... The Turkish government, the Turkish government captured 12 Nusra terrorist operatives in Turkey with two kilos of sarin gas by the rebels. And the Russian government demanded the Turkish government to release details on this investigation, which they're refusing to do so because it thwarts what the Turkish government wants to do. But nevertheless, it was captured by the intelligence in Turkey with two kilos of sarin gas sent by Saudi Arabia. Yours truly, Saudi Arabia, is the one yeah. that is manipulating our government to do its bidding in the region. And that is what's happening. Yeah, if you watch CNN, you watch uh, the uh, news channels, the talking heads, they bring on these so-called chemical uh, weapons experts say, 
oh, the rebels have no ability. They have no capability to get their hands on or, or create uh, these weapons. But they could be smuggled in from other countries like Saudi Arabia, who does have access to these weapons, right? Correct. In fact, in the videos we show on our blog, it clearly from Saudi Arabia, it has even the bags that they use to make the chemical weapons is from Saudi Arabia, clearly. In fact, even, you know, talking about experts, I mean, Joseph Badansky is a real expert. You know, Rush Limbaugh covered this whole issue, and he discussed this whole thing, and how the CIA even knowingly knew that the rebels used the chemical weapons. And you have, you know, Dale Kalvik of, uh, you know, Associated Press writer, talking about Prince Bandar, his involvement. You know, when we, got, when we were hit in 9-11, who was meeting with President Bush a day after? Wasn't it not Prince Bandar? You know, um, Saudi Arabia, you know, is very afraid of Iran. It's afraid of Iran and its, its constituency, Syria. Okay, they're afraid very much of the Iranian regime. And so they want to basically begin to destroy its infrastructure and destroy its allies vis-a-vis -vis Syria in this case and create a Sunni alliance which is more loyal towards Saudi Arabia. And that's what it's about. We are p protecting and defending Saudi Arabia. Don't tell me the war in Kuwait was not for Saudi Arabia. Right. We didn't care about Kuwait. The moment, the moment Saddam Hussein began to lob scuds at Saudi Arabia, that's where the buck ended, and that's where the American government intervened and ousted basically and stopped Saddam Hussein. But the